You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV. My name's Paul. I'm the host of the show. Shout out to the producer of the show, C-Rock Behind the Lens. We're back with a new episode, but before we jump into that, as always, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Promise you, you won't be disappointed. And to all of you who've been subscribed, again, we just want to say thank you. We appreciate all the views. Thank you guys for rocking with us. But moving on, over here at Shoot Your Shot TV, you know we like futuristic shoes, new designs, all that good stuff. So today we got a new model from Nike, the Nike Joyride Envelope ISPA. So much going on. Really cool looking shoe. Can't wait to get into it. You already know what it is. Shoot Your Shot TV, Shoot Your Shot Records in the Nike Joyride Envelope ISPA. How you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing great, staying safe out there. We're back with a new episode. Today we're reviewing the Nike Joyride Envelope ISPA. And to be quite honest, I don't know too much about the shoe. Me and C were on Nike.com a couple weeks back and they were having a pretty good sale. And we were just scrolling through the shoes and figuring out which ones we wanted to cop and maybe review for the channel. Came across these Joyride envelopes and they intrigued me. I was like, wow, these look very futuristic, very technical. It reminded me of a shoe that they might wear while they're windsurfing in the future. I know you don't wear shoes when you windsurf, but it just had a very aqua sport vibe to it. Wanted to check them out and see if it was something that I might enjoy for myself to keep and switch up the style a little bit. And over here, we love innovation. We love new technology. We like to see what Nike's up to, what they're cooking up. And we've never reviewed a shoe that had the Joyride technology in it, so I'm pretty excited about these. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes. Here they are, the Nike Joyride Envelope ISPA. Very cool, very futuristic looking shoe. Very obscure, very different. The colorway is really cool in my opinion. ISPA, didn't have any idea what that stood for, but right here on the shoe it says, improvise, scavenge, protect, and adapt. I don't know if that's Nike's new initiative to maybe be more sustainable and recycle materials to make new models. If it is, I'm all for it. If you guys know what the ISPA initiative is, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Yeah, it was just something about the shoe. I really like the shape of it. The silhouette's pretty cool, pretty narrow. Like I said, very futuristic, like something you see in an upcoming sci-fi movie. Not a lot of traction here on the bottom of the sole, but you do see that Joyride tech. Very excited to see how that feels on foot. You have these straps right here to kind of keep your foot in place with this nylon upper. It's kind of like Gore-Tex material with perforated holes to kind of give your foot that breathability. And I think they call them the envelope because of the way that they kind of flap in and fold in and then you have to seal it like an envelope. I'm just taking a guess there. No shoelaces, pretty different, pretty obscure, man. This patent leather right here in orange, orange Velcro on the side, more straps in the back of the ankle to kind of keep your foot in place. It's crazy, it's different colorway what sold me on it, silhouette. And before we take a look at these on feet, let's go ahead and get a smell of the future. <sighs> Ocean sports. Let's try them on. That was our signature on foot look. Crep check really quick. I'm wearing the Nike Airspan 2 in that solar red colorway. You can check out our review on those right here. Over here at Shoot Your Shot TV, we like to break down the shoe into three important categories and give it an overall score at the end. We're gonna jump right into that. As far as comfort goes, I can really feel the Joyride technology. I feel like wherever you put pressure, the Joyride technology is gonna move or shift to that area and provide the maximum cushioning that it can. As far as the upper, it's very flimsy. This material, over time, I feel like it's gonna wear out and lose its shape. If you have wider feet, I don't suggest wearing these at all. 
They do run true to size, but if you have wider feet, it's a no-go. It's just not gonna hold your foot in place. So as far as comfort, I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five. Moving on to style, I do like the silhouette of the shoe. I like the colorway, but it's just not that practical. Maybe I'm wearing the wrong outfit, but I didn't like how they looked on foot and I don't have the confidence to pull these off because it's just not for me. So as far as style goes, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a two out of five as well, because it's not the worst, but it's not the best. As far as price point goes, these retail for way too much. They retail for 180 to 200. When they went on sale, they were 110. I feel like maybe 110 should be the retail price and then the sale price should be maybe like 70 to $80. Right now, these are on sale pretty much everywhere and they have full size runs. So if you do like the shoe and you want to try them out, then you can find them anywhere from 80 to 110. But just do your research first, make sure you get the best price. But as far as price, I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five as well. Bringing us to a grand total of six out of 15 on the Shoot Your Shot rating system. It's not bad, it's just not for me. I do like this Joyride technology though. I'm gonna maybe check out some other shoes that have the same tech, because I do like the way it feels on foot. Very soft, nice cushion. But moving on, let us know how you guys feel about the Nike Joyride Envelope ISPA in the comments below. If you have any information on the ISPA initiative or other Nike models with the ISPA branding, let us know. We'd love to be enlightened. Love to hear from you guys. But that's our episode for today. Again, subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it in the beginning. Do it right now. It takes a second. More episodes on the way. Shout out to our affiliates, the Game Ball Podcast. Make sure you click the links. Check out the pod. My name is Paul. This has been an episode of Shoot Your Shot TV. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.